okay, you're in Microsoft Excel, you're trying to perform a VLOOKUP, but you're getting the ref error. So in this scenario, I'm trying to find the category letter for each of these products in this table over here and returning the discount in column J. So let's look at my first formula in column F, looking up this category letter in this table array and returning values from column three. And that's where the problem is. There are not three columns in my table array. I've only specified two columns, column I and column J. So the third column doesn't exist. And that's what the ref error basically means. The cells do not exist. So if I change that to column two, it then performs the VLOOKUP. Okay, let's look at column G and see why we're getting a ref error. So I'm performing the same VLOOKUP. I'm trying to look for this category letter in this table and returning the discount. Now, my table array here is the problem, not my call index number. I've correctly identified that I want to return values from the second column within this table, but my table array only includes the first column. So what I need to do is extend the range of cells that are in my table array. So it includes column J, and then the formula will work properly. Now, in our third scenario, it doesn't look as though we have any problems with ref errors. But for example, if I went in and had a look at this formula and then pressed enter, I would then get the ref error. Also, you, you may come across a scenario where when you open up a workbook, you get this message. And when you click on update, all your VLOOKUPs return the ref error. So this can be quite confusing. Now, the problem here is that your VLOOKUP is looking up a table in another workbook. And that table is housed within an official Excel table. What do I mean by an official Excel table? Well, that's where you click into your data and then you go insert table. Now, if you're using that bit of functionality, then the other workbook needs to be open in order for the VLOOKUP not to return the ref error. So if I open up that workbook with the lookup table in, and then I split the screen so I can see both of my workbooks. You'll see now that the VLOOKUP works perfectly. So to avoid this problem, what you could do is click into the table array, the table that you're borrowing values from, go up to the table design tab and convert the table into a normal range. Just click on yes when you're asked this question. And now if I close this down, and I went into this VLOOKUP as if I was editing the formula, press enter, I don't get the ref error. Also, if I close this down and reopen it, and I say update, I don't get the ref error. Now, another way around the same problem, and you may prefer this method, is in your table array argument, rather than referring to the table with its name, refer to it using normal cell addresses, A2 to B6 in this instance, which I'd need to lock. And then if I press enter, it gets rid of the ref error. So what would happen if I added another row to my table array? If I put in category F with a discount of 30%. So you'll know that one of the benefits of using tables is they create a dynamic range. So this new row has automatically become part of the table. So if I close this, what you'll notice is that the table array reference in my VLOOKUP formula has automatically expanded to include that new row in row seven. So let's see if that actually works. If I change this product category to F, I get a 30% discount. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.